Hey there everyone, today we're going to be looking at the differences between web hosting and a web server. And to show this, I'll be using Hostinger since it's a web hosting platform that can give us a better understanding of the two. And if at any point you guys want to try out Hostinger for yourselves, then check out the description because I've put the best deal available down there to get you guys started. So web servers work behind the scenes of the internet. Their job is to keep websites running and show them to you when you want to see a page. And it works like this in essence. So when you click on a website or type its address, your computer asks the web server for that website's pages, then a web server sends them back for you to see in your browser. Now web servers are not just one thing, they're a mix of physical machines and special software. The physical part stores all the stuff a website needs to show pages, like images and text. The software is like the brain. It understands your requests and finds the right pages to send back. There are different kinds of web server software. For example, Apache is really popular because it's reliable and can be changed in many ways. Nginx is known for working really fast and not needing much power. Microsoft IIS is often used with Windows computers, and Lighty is great for handling a lot of visitors at once, making websites run smoothly. Each type has its own special features that helps websites work better in different ways. However, servers also have different tiers within them. For example, Hostinger has three different hosting options, ranging from shared web hosting, VPS hosting, and cloud hosting. Shared web hosting is much like a hotel. It's not as expensive as the other options. You get the resources you need, and it's serviceable. If we look at Hostinger's premium plan here, you'll notice you get features like 100 websites, 100 gigabytes of storage, and unlimited bandwidth, which seems nice. However, the drawback to shared web hosting is that, much like in a hotel, you don't get too much privacy and your experience is heavily reliant on your neighbors. So if a server is strained because too many people are using it, then your site's performance will be diminished, meaning it could hurt customer experience. Then we have VPS hosting, which is more likened to an apartment building. You get your own apartments that you can customize and renovate as you see fit, but again, your experience is dependent on whether you have good neighbors. Meaning, it's still on a shared server with other people, but you get an exclusive part of that server to yourself. These plans tend to be a bit more expensive, but you do get more resources like a vCPU, which is a virtual processor that improves your site's speed. Now, with Hostinger, you'd also receive NVMe storage, which is 10 to 20 times faster than your regular SSD, so we're definitely working with some serious hardware. Our last server to touch upon is cloud hosting. Now, we're going to have to stray away from our apartment slash hotel analogy because cloud hosting is more like using a team of computers instead of just one to keep your website running. The previous two examples, they only use one server, which is prone to issues because if that single server breaks down, your website stops working working. But with cloud hosting, your website is supported by a bunch of servers that work together. This network of servers is called a cloud. It's a lot more reliable because your website doesn't depend on just one computer. Plus, cloud hosting is really flexible. If your website suddenly gets really busy, it can quickly use more power from the cloud to keep everything running smoothly. And when things get quiet again, it uses less. This makes it perfect for websites where the number of visitors goes up and down frequently. The price for cloud hosting is naturally more expensive than the other two as well, but when you consider that you get triple the resources that web hosting has, it's no wonder why that is. So, in essence, the difference between web hosting and a web server is that the server is a platform on which sites are hosted on and organized. Simple as that. And that just about wraps it up for today. I hope I was able to clear up the differences between web hosting and web servers, but if there are any more questions for me, then just let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out that discount for Hostinger in the description that gives you a site-wide discount and three months of free use. If you did like the video, then consider hitting that like button and subscribing. At any rate, thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.